Hey, how's it going, fishers? This is Craig Wormkaiser from Adamant Toy Server here to talk about the new Endwalker quest. The Crystalline Mean style quests in Endwalker are now the new Faculty of Aetherology quests, offering you guys up a quick ritual prayer. So hopefully it'll help you guys get through the crazy queues that are waiting for you to get into Endwalker. So once you get in, these will unlock about 24, 25 main story quests into the story, I believe. So if you are still working on the story up to that point uh, and you haven't unlocked these, that's what you need to do to get them unlocked. So just keep on moving with the story and you'll, you'll come across them as you go. First up, the first ones we need are going to be giant aether louses. So for these, we are going to be heading out to Labyrinthos, but first we got to get our bait. I won't be bringing up my teleport menu like I normally do for you guys because this is Endwalker. It's a brand new set of areas. I don't want to spoil anything by showing you, you know, some potential spoilers with teleport. So I'm just going to let you know ahead of time where I'm going and then I'll show you a map at the spot. First off, we are going to need Gold Salmon Row. We've got a bunch of those. So let's head on out to Labyrinthos. All right, now we are out here in Labyrinthos. You can see our spot is just off the main road here at this beautiful waterfall. Our position on the map is right here at X18.2 and Y5.6, the phreatic conduit. You can pretty much fish from anywhere you like. I'm just gonna be simple and go with the side here. Be sure that you throw on your collector's glove Make sure that your bait is the gold salmon row. So what we are looking for here is we want to go ahead and pull in the um, the lice or the louse. Lice just sounds kind of bad. If you don't get it, with your first one, you want to be sure that you've got surface slap and everything set up. Which I don't have. And now that I'm properly prepared. So if you don't get the fish that you're after, you can use surface slap. It is a 200 GP skill. That'll make sure that you don't get the same fish twice. It's a great way to help speed things up a little bit. Once you do hook it, though, that's where you can actually work on getting your collector collectability up much faster. You would actually use identical cast, patience, and then you'll want to use precision hook set to pull in the same fish again. Pull in yourself another louse at a higher collector's value. If you're patient, uh, patient, you can actually save GP by not bothering with surface slap. I just know a lot of people use it, so. So we have an Aether Louse. We need an, uh, we're aiming for a value of about 160. So we'll go ahead and we'll just say throw it in there. We're gonna use identical cast, throw patience up, throw our hook out again, and then hope for a better one. You can get, you can still turn these in if you don't mind the EXP being a bit lower, or if you're just trying to grind them out, you can turn them in. I think at collectability one through seventy, one through one hundred and seventy, like one hundred. Wow, that's awful. Okay, finally got a decent one, and as you can see here, I forgot to point this out before, the collectability is from 70 through 165. You will get that amount of EXP with that those amount of scripts. If you want to optimize your amounts, though, you will need a louse at 166 or better. My gear is pretty bad because I'm cheap and lazy, so... We have, we have one here that we just narrowly got after a lot of fighting. That's 167. I have one point better. So I'm going to go ahead and get this turned in. And then I'm going to get these knocked out. And we're going to figure out what the next one is going to be. And I will be posting a video on that as soon as I can for you guys. Anyway, 
that's how you get the Aether Louses. Hope this has helped you out, and I hope you guys enjoy Inwalker. Uh, outside of that, like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, please consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring home a buddy, there's plenty of ways you can help them out, uh, sp such as donating your time, money, or other resources to a local charity or organization that focuses on animal welfare and care. So, guys, there's plenty of ways to show those animals you love them, plenty of ways to show them you care. And, unfortunately, as we move into the winter months especially, there's a lot of animals out there who could really use that love. So, show them what you got. And speaking of love, I love you guys. Remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Happy fishing. Happy hunting.